rounding and significant figures. Rounding to a set number of significant figures uses the standard convention for rounding. If it's a five or greater, it's going to round up to the next digit. If it's four or less, it will round down. A couple of things to remember when rounding, make sure that once you round your number, that you have the correct number of significant figures. This is especially important when the last significant figure is a zero, because sometimes you'll have to convert to scientific notation. Also, make sure that the rounded number is the number that you had before only rounded. What that means is if I had 105,001 and I wanted to round that to three significant figures, I couldn't just put 105 because 105 is, is not the same as 105,000. So I would have to just drop those last digits. All right, so let's see some other examples. In this first one, I want four significant figures. So I start counting, that's one, two, three, four. That four is the only number that's going to change. It's either going to stay a four or round up to a five. So I look at the number before it or after it, and that's a five, which means it's going to round up to the number in front of it. So that would be one, two, three, five. I need to double check that I have this correct number of sig figs. That's one, two, three, four. So that's good. And this is the same number, just rounded. So that is good. The sample below, these don't count as sig figs. So that's one, two, three, because I want three significant figures. That five is either going to stay a five or round up. So that four, if I look at it, does not round it. So now I need to rewrite the number. Remember those zeros are not significant, but they are placeholders. So it's 0 0.00345. You could write it this way. Notice that I do have three significant figures and it's the same number, just rounded. I could also write it in scientific notation. That would also be acceptable. Two more examples. This one we're rounding to three sig figs, so that's one, two, three. The nine is going to round that eight up. Or again, you can write 6.79 times 10 to the negative 2. And for this sample, we got 1, 2, 3, 4. Again, I look at the one after my fourth sig fig, and it does round it. So I get 1,000 are one zero three six. So I check, I have four sig figs, but is my number the same? Are those values the same? No, so I need to add one, two, three, four, five, six placeholder zeros. So now it's the same number just rounded. Again, you could write it in scientific notation as well. Either of those are fine, but again, 1036 is not correct and a very common mistake. As this last one said two significant figures, Then my second significant figure would be that zero. I look at the three and it does not round that up. So I could not have 
this because this only has one significant figure and I wanted two. So when your last sig fig is a zero and it's a number larger than one, you do have to convert it to scientific notation in order for that last sig fig to count. Now I have two sig figs and it will work. Go ahead and pause the video and try these on your own. Restart when you have answers for them. So for all of these, we're converting to three significant figures. One, two, three. So 45.8. One, two, three. That's going to round that up. Three significant figures, I'm good. One, two, three. Notice I kept the times 10 to the fifth, so the number would stay the same. This one's already in three significant figures. And finally, you could have converted any of these that are not in scientific notation into scientific notation. So had you put the numbers in scientific notation, those would have had to be the answers that you had. 